this one is problem 2.29 it says a hawser or a rope from a ship is wrapped four times around a rotating capstan as shown in the figure the dock worker pulls with the force of 200 newtons so basically force here is 200 newtons what is the maximum force the man can exert on the boat if the coefficient of friction is 0 0.3 so we are looking for this force right here so for this problem one important concept that we need to understand is that if there is a rope that is on a roller like this and if in the string there are these tensions t1 and t2 for the case when there is no friction we know that this t1 has to be equals to t2 now the other case when there is friction this t1 and t2 will not be same so now if there is friction the forces will depend on the tendency of tendency of motion okay so let's assume this this rope is going this way that's the motion tendency so if rope is going that way for, since friction opposes the motion and if i take this rope out and look at the forces this is going to be t2 here and t1 here and rope is going to the right side so friction is going to be on this rope in this manner okay so now you can see that if you try to do the force balance this t1 and this friction force f will balance this t2 so what does this mean that t2 has to be more than t1 okay that's the first concept that we need to keep in mind and what is the mathematical relationship between t1 and t2 since t2 is more so t2 divided by t1 will always be equals to e to the power f theta where f is your coefficient of friction and theta is the angle for which this rope is wrapped so in this case this angle right here is 180 degree so theta is going to be pi so now if you look at your current problem how much angle do we have because the rope is wrapped around four times so in one circle angle is 2 pi so your angle in this case becomes 4 times 2 pi and your coefficient of friction uh, given in this problem is 0 0.3 so now in our case this is going to be your t2 and this one is going to be your t1 so if I now substitute these numbers there, your F divided by 200 Newtons is going to be e to the power F value 0 0.3 times angle is 8 pi. So if I solve this, your F value comes out to be 3.76 10 to the power 5 Newtons.